This is sort of a later stage development of a treatment of the figure that was sort of highly stylized in a space that has inconsistencies in terms of the way the perspective works and then has in it symbolic manifestations of things like Haitian and Yoruba culture. I mean, it's a, it's a, a picture of a kind of romantic moment where you have a couple dancing uh, in the middle of the living room. There's music playing on the stereo. Either they just finished dinner or that setup is like a shrine because the candle, it's a, a sequined bottle that the Haitians make as part of what they use in the Vodun ceremonies. Uh, and so what the painting is about in a way is the kind of forces you would marshal to try and produce the kind of positive outcome that you were hoping for or desirous of. <laughs> People practice deception. And a song like Baby I'm For Real, I mean, <laughs> That's, that's deception, that's deception because the song and the actions, they're not necessarily harmonious. Charles Burnett has a film uh, titled Killer of Sheep, one of the paradigmatic films for black filmmakers who want to develop what they would call a black film aesthetic. There's a moment in that film in which the couple dance to a Dinah Washington song and it's like that moment in that film is probably one of the, the most powerful moments for me in film history because there's a kind of poignancy, but it's so painful. So part of what I'm we're doing with the, with the piece overall is to create this atmosphere, to create this climate in which there's uh, expectation and doubt. When I started making paintings like Slow Dance, it was an experiment to see if I could make a painting like I made a collage. Because I thought, well, maybe if you do it that way, you would retain some of the kind of dynamism, the kind of vitality, and the kind of surprise that you get by just working spontaneously on things. So when I make studies, I didn't make a total composition. I did the, the couple. I did drawings of the couple because that was important. And I did drawings of some of the other elements in it because I, I needed to know what those were going to be like. It's like rehearsing what those are looking like. One of the devices that you use to call out attention is, is pattern. It gives you something else to wonder about. They're decorative devices to help make the picture look good <laughs> on the one hand, so that's why I do it. And the thing is, like with the stamps I use to print the pattern, the flowers on there, they give me a chance to move paint around so I can stamp it and then I can smear it. And so those effects always bring you back to the surface of the picture. So it's image and it's also paint. So what I've been trying to do is find a way to synthesize all these things into one picture. It's sort of loaded with a lot of cultural references, but it's also uh, committed to the kinds of tactics you might use if you were just inter purely interested in, in, in making a pretty painting. Be